up sunrays welcome back to the channel it's ray if you're new here welcome guys i know y'all saw the title and y'all like i thought she said she wasn't gonna do a lot of, whole lot of different black friday videos i wasn't but no sooner than i got done with that black friday video i think a couple days later i ended up getting in sotanicals which i need to give them an apology because y'all know i said in that black friday video that um uh, my hair look like it's crazy that that i probably wouldn't get my products for a long time well they proved me wrong so here is my sotanicals and you can see how small of a box it is so i told you i didn't get a lot but they got it packed too but i did get the frozen, which is what I was looking for. I got two of them, and remember I said they were 55% off. So, here they are. Guys, cross your fingers that I can get these to work because like I said, I love the look that it gave my hair. It just left a little cat, you know, gray cast on my hair and, and I would see it, you know, uh, flaking off a little bit and I didn't like that. And I'm thinking I may have used not enough water or, uh, Ooh, the top is on here tight too. <laughs> okay, I can't get it open. So we gonna worry about the texture and everything later. But um, I either didn't use enough water or I didn't mix it with the right product. So I'm going to do what I need to do with these, but for 55% off, I couldn't pass it up. And because it's always out of stock, I wanted to go ahead and get my hands on it because I didn't know when I'd get a chance to get my hands on it again. So for both of these, I only spent $22 or something like that. So they're regular $16. I got two of them. They were 55% off. Then I had to pay for the shipping. So I think the shipping is what got it up to $22.55 because for both of these, I would have paid $14.40. So shipping was around $8 and some change so anyway shipping wasn't great but it wasn't the worst there were some people that was charging more than that for shipping so anyway so got these for 55 percent off so i wanted to share those with you and then also in that black friday video i told you that i had picked up some myel or i didn't tell you i think i put it on the screen that I had picked up some Myel because I forgot about that until I got my notification saying that it was on the way. So I was like, oh shoot. So I put on the screen that I did pick up some Myel and that I will tell you, we we'll talk about it later. So let me go ahead and, and show you what I got and tell you why I picked up Myel. Get it all out of the box. This is a big box, bigger than what um, I needed for the stuff that I got. and didn't have much padding in it at all. But anyway, that's another story. So I picked up my Yale. She had her products on sale for $6.99 and there was zero shipping. So I was like, okay, she is no shipping and the stuff is $6.99 and her stuff is normally, you know, it could be 10, 12, 15, you know, dollars or whatever as well. So I got basically her, oats and honey line. I'm not sure if I got everything out of the line, but I got four products out of the line. So I spent $29 and some change. So right under $30 basically. So basically seven times four is 28. And then I spent $29.92. So that was tax, no shipping. That was tax on, on top of it. So um, that wasn't bad. So what I picked up was the soothing shampoo is for sensitive scalp. I don't have a sensitive scalp, but oh, sorry about that. I had to go to the door anyway. So what I was saying was, what was I saying? <laughs> anyway, real life guys, real life. So what I was saying was I got the Oats and Honey Soothing Shampoo. It says it's for sensitive scalp. I don't have sensitive scalp, but I, I was just intrigued. When they first launched this, I was like, oh, that sounds good, Oats and Honey. And the packaging was pretty and it just looked like it smelled good. Let me see if I can smell it. 
you know it has a has a seal on it which is a good thing anyway um yeah just look like it's still good so smelled good so i was intrigued but i just never you know bit the bullet and bought it because i had so much stuff and i was like i'm not buying anything else and so yeah i didn't get it but then when mm, this is the soothing leave-in conditioner and i saw i had a pump so i said well let me see what how it smells it does it smells really good so anyway i said i was just gonna wait till Black Friday, maybe pick it up or hope they send it to me in PR or something. Well, wishful thinking I didn't get it in PR, but I was able to get it for $6.99. So I got the shampoo. I also got the matching soothing conditioner to go to it. Then I got the leave-in conditioner and then I got the soothing hair balm. Let me see what it says about this hair balm. I think I got it. Okay, so yeah, it says apply to wet or dry hair and style as desired. So I'm going to be probably using it more like a uh, twisting cream or something like that. Let me take the thing out of here and just look at the texture. Yeah, so I'm going to use it more as a twisting cream. So I tried to get what I needed for a wash day, a shampoo, a conditioner, a leave-in, and then a cream. So this is what the soothing balm looks like and ooh, rubbing it on the back of my hand where i had the leave-in it doesn't look like it's going together too well i don't know what that means anyway try not to judge it off already until i use it but anyway so i got that so those were the four things that i got for my l now let's get into what you guys want to know so back two years ago a whole thing blew up with my L and um, another content creator where she, that she did a, some of you already know this before, backstory, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail, I'm giving you the gist. A content creator reviewed some products of my L's, not these, but another line of theirs, didn't um, quite care for it, didn't bash it, but didn't quite care for it. My L didn't, um, not my L. Um, Mo, what's her name? Monique? I think her name is Monique. Didn't quite care for the review and she got in her comments and basically told her she wasn't using it right and she needed to, you know, use it the right way before she, you know, gives a review and this and that. Oh, anyway, I didn't see the comment that she made, but the YouTube content creator said it was there i think she had ended up removing it or whatever and other people saw it i didn't see it so i don't know exactly what it said but basically um it wasn't nice and then she also dm'd her i believe on instagram saying some stuff in her dms and then on top of that her the monique's husband called up this content creator and started going in on her over the phone one night at like nine o'clock p.m. You know, you don't come nobody at home. But anyway, so with all that being said, that left a bad taste in a lot of creators' mouths. A lot of people, because of that, said that they were canceling Myel. They weren't going to purchase from Myel products anymore, and so forth and so on. I did not do a dedicated video about that. However, in one of my videos, I believe it was either an empties video or um, I believe it was an empties video because I was saying whether I would repurchase products or not and whether I like them. So I believe it was empty. So I'm going through my empties and in my empties were some Myel products that I had used up. And then that's when I talked on it. I wasn't going to talk on it. But then I just went on and said, well, let me just go ahead and say this because if people start seeing that I wasn't using my L anymore, questions were gonna come up in my comments instead of me individually answering everybody's comment, I thought that I would just speak on it in that video. So basically in my video, um, in my empties video, when I got to the my L empty product, I basically just said what I'm saying now. Monique and 
her husband basically did not deal with a situation correctly with a content creator and that left a bad taste in my mouth and therefore I was not going to feature my L on my channel because I felt like if she would do that to her, then she would do it to me because I review products as well and I don't always give glowing reviews on products. I try not to bash products, but I'm gonna tell you how I feel about them and how they work for my hair and it may have rubbed her the wrong way and what she gonna get in my comments and do all that. And so I just felt like, no, you know. So when I made that video, I had intended on um, not using my L for a year because I felt like after a year, you know, um, she, she would have felt a little bit of hurt in her pocket after a year. Hopefully she would have seen the error of her ways and made some changes and blah, 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 you know? So um, she did eventually apologize. Wasn't the best apology, it was on her site or something like that, but she didn't um, apologize directly to the content creator, I don't think now. Real life. Anyway, so um, what I was saying was that uh, as far as I know, she didn't, apologize directly to the content creator but i could be wrong she could have done that after the fact and we just don't know um it wasn't spoken about or whatever so i don't know what i do know is that there was an apology put on the myo site and it was a blanket apology whatever it wasn't the best apology however she did apologize i still didn't buy anything so about a year ago, they actually reached out to me and wanted me, wanted to collab and I didn't. So, because it had not quite been a year and a year is what I set for myself. I don't know what other people are doing, how long they're planning on, how long they had planned on having them canceled or whatever, but I said, I'm going to at least do it for a year. Now, with that being said, a whole nother year has passed. So it has been two years since I have not bought or spoken about Mayel on my channel, bought any of her products or spoken about them on my channel. With that being said, I haven't heard any more uh, negative stuff that has happened. Maybe it has, I just haven't heard about it, but I haven't heard about it. Um, I feel like they have learned from that. I feel like the backlash that they got has taught them a lesson and hopefully they have not done it again and will not do it again. With that being said, I do feel like people should be allowed to change and to grow. And I do feel like, you know, as a Christian, I need to offer, you know, grace and forgiveness in situations. So that is why I opted to go ahead and buy the Myel products. I'm gonna try them if I like them. And she pulls something else out, I may try it too. If I try these and I don't care for these, I may not use Myel again. I don't know because the only, brand that I really liked was her original brand. She started putting silicones in that, so I kind of quit using that leave-in and stuff like that. And then the pomegranate and honey one, I liked the leave-in, but that was pretty much the only thing that I liked from that line. So for me, her lines have not been really good ones that fit me across the board anyway. So I wanted to give these a try, see if these do. Maybe I'll go ahead on in the future. If they don't, I may not, but I wanted to give you a reason why I went on and picked up my yacht. I didn't want y'all to be like, oh, she said she wasn't gonna buy them and now she buying them. No, I said I wasn't gonna buy them at that time. I said I'll go for myself, which was a year. I don't know if I specified that to you guys or not, but maybe I didn't. That was Empty's video. It wasn't a video about my L per se. So I didn't go into a whole lot of detail about it, but I gave them a year. In my mind, I ended up not dealing with them for two years. Now I'm ready to give them another chance so that's where i stand on it you guys can do what you want to do everybody's entitled to do what makes them feel comfortable so that's it battery's running out so let me end this but anyway these are the other two brands that i bought for for black friday just wanted to bring it to you let you know so yes guys let me know out of what i showed you out of both of these videos which things you want to see first and if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in my next one bye guys Thank you.